guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a makeup look for a deer costume. It's super basic, it doesn't involve contouring or anything like that, um, but it's just something that I figured would be fun and unique to show you guys how to do. So let's get started. First I'm just going to apply a basic layer of foundation and a setting powder. Okay, now I'm going to put on some eyeliner, just a very simple winged top liner look. I'm just gonna put on some mascara, just use whatever you like. I have this um, punk volumizer, works pretty well. I usually just get Maybelline though. So if you're like me, sometimes get a little bit of mascara on your eyelid. All I do is I just get a slightly wet Q-tip and I just kind of brush it off. Okay, so now for the fun part, to actually get the deer look. Um, the first part I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some bronzer on here.
I'm also gonna put a little bit of bronzer on my nose. And then I'm actually gonna put a little bit of here just for that same thought process of just kind of showing an outliner base of where the rest of the brown will go later. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some foundation and my sponge and I'm gonna mix it with just a little bit of my brown eyeshadow just kind of give it a darker tone so that way it's that's how I created like my makeup paste and that's gonna help me get some brown colors um, into this this is another reason that I use cheap Walmart sponges because then I can do stuff like this with them and um, not feel bad throwing them away you don't have to I've washed it out before but you can also just throw it away or you can keep one specifically for this color. I found that to get darker colors, it makes a lot more sense to mix it on your hand. So that's what I'm gonna do next. See, I'm just gonna keep mixing it. The other reason that I like using foundation and just mixing eyeshadow into it is that um, it feels less waxy than a lot of that Halloween makeup. It feels like it sets there really nicely. I don't feel like it's going to rub off of me all the time. Okay, so now that I've got this dark color, I'm just going to start kind of shaping it into a deer pattern on my face. Again, I'm not an expert. I just kind of figured out how to do this on a whim and decided to share it. So. Now that I've kind of got the basic outline, I'm going to go back to my sponge and I'm going to start filling it in. It's going to feel like you're just making yourself look dirty, but as we continue, it'll get a more polished look. down here too. Just a little though. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use a little bit of highlighter just to kind of help blend this harsh line here. And then I'm gonna put a little under my eyes since I have the highlighter out already, so I don't have to come back to it, just to kind of give it more of that bright, doe-eyed look. Okay, now I'm gonna do what I consider my favorite part, which is putting little white dots on, like you would see in the hide of a deer. So, um, what I use for that is I use white lip scents, that's what I've got on hand. I used to sell lip scents, so that's what I've got. Um, and to be honest, this is probably the only, only thing I use the white color for. Um, but you can use white makeup, you could use eyeshadow, whatever you want. This is just what I use. Makes it easy because I know it's not gonna rub off once it dries, and I know I can layer it to make a bright white color. So I'm just gonna kind of put it in circles. Um, I just kind of trace along here, and then I'm gonna put some accents over here as well.
Okay, so now I'm going to do the nose. Um, the nose is probably the trickiest part in my opinion. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start by doing a base in Lip Sense again just because I've got it in a brown color. And you have to be really patient with that. I mean, you already saw I had to layer this a lot, but especially for the nose, you have to be really patient and make sure it dries in between coats or it's gonna get really streaky. And then after that, I'm gonna touch it up with a little bit of my brown eyeshadow. So while I let this dry, because it needs to set before I start doing anything with the eyeshadow, I'm going to start doing some lips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two toned. Um, I'm going to do the same color I was using on my nose on the top, and then I'm going to use a lighter tone on the bottom. So now I'm just going to do some powder over the top of this as well as a few lines kind of leading up my nose and down from my nose as well. person who gets like completely paranoid about makeup rubbing off and stuff just for this eyeshadow stuff that I put on top of my lips since here I'm actually gonna use a little bit of hairspray to spread it um if any of you are makeup enthusiasts or maybe you just don't like hairspray you might not like this and I understand that it's not great to put hairspray on your pores but <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway I don't have a setting spray and I think of this more of a 
what you can do with a small amount of things at home. Um, and I don't buy setting spray. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of hairspray. All right, at this point you could decide to don false eyelashes. I like doing this look just with my mascara on, um, but then you'd also put on your antlers and you'd be ready to go. So this is just a super basic deer look, just something I learned how to do on a whim, literally a decide the day of costume. Um, but it's something that I felt like I really enjoyed doing and that I felt like I did a decently good job with. So not a professional, but this is something that you could do too, and now you know how. Thanks.